they've been coming from. Oh, what a day. It's lunchtime already. Hope everybody's day is going good. Welcome to a new episode. New video, new vlog. I am currently gonna go get a grilled cheese sandwich from Starbucks and probably another item, I'm not sure. Because who doesn't love a really expensive lunch that <laughs> is five bites on a Friday? It's sunny. Why not? You know? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep complaining about these daggone prices. Yes, I am. Because what? It's ridiculous. Like all I wanna do is just feed my body, have experiences, and go to sleep. I think that's too damn much to ask nowadays in this economy. Because I'm, I'm going to speak for the ones that have a realistic life. Okay? And if it blossoms into something else, I really feel like I'm going to be able to get to a point where you, you got to level up somehow. And at some point, you know what I mean? Somebody's going to have to say yes. Somebody is going to give you that opportunity. And it's going to be worth your while. And what is all this trash going on? I know, this is random, but I know the landfills and this, that, and the third is getting real occupied. I understand that. I know that people aren't picking up the trash like they used to. I know we ain't got the workers. I get it. But damn, why is it so messy over here? Thank you for choosing Starbucks. I'll be with you in just a moment. All right, thank you. Mm. I'll try one of the spinach, feta, and egg white wraps. All right. And then I'll take one of the grilled cheeses. And the grilled cheese. Yes, ma'am. All right. And that's it. All righty. That comes out to 11.20. Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting two sandwiches. I don't care. <laughs> I wanted to try the other one. And like I said, it's just these sandwiches just don't be filling at all so we don't even see how much I got cash on me you know what I mean might as well give them a tip I guess okay I'm gonna give them a little kudos cause it's hot Okay. Mm-hmm. I love a good hot sandwich. I don't get how people eat cold food. When I tell you, especially at restaurants, it's, I'm so random today, but y'all should know be my now. And you love it, so. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I don't understand how people can just eat cold food especially at restaurants it's like okay mind you maybe i get the whole concept of a soup that could be a little lukewarm because it's in a pot all day just simmering or whatever i get it but when it's a whole new meal and it's still lukewarm and it's cold And people know me, I will take a meal back. And I know it's not the waitress's fault. I know it's not none of the 
other staff, football, bartender, whatever case may have you. I know it's none of their faults. I'm not gonna be rude. I can get my point across without being rude, but if somebody have a little stank, a little attitude, Like if you gonna initiate the rudeness, oh, I'ma give it to you, okay? Cause I ain't even come with that energy to begin with. I'm cooling. Just because you having a bad day. Here's the, here's the thing. That don't mean you take it out on everybody else. What they do to you? They ain't do jack to you. You know what I mean? The nerve. these sandwiches and mind you i have a i don't know if it works truly or not but i have a trick you know how you be having the windows down or the air on or whatever when i have hot food i do not have the windows down because it's just gonna cool the food off what we doing that just that just makes me upset this weekend i plan on getting into some fun stuff so we're gonna crack it off and I think my package for my new skincare product is gonna come in today so I will show you that but other than that that's probably gonna be the end of my day so we'll see what we get into with the product with the unboxing and then weekend fun sun shenanigans because i haven't had this much sun all summer and now that is fall we, we just don't have all the sun rays uh, okay whatever <laughs> all right bye y'all tastes like a hot pocket okay so your girl had to get a rental because they had apparently a recall on my rear view parking because it don't do the beeps or whatever so I'm gonna have it for the weekend Okay. I'm trying to get myself situated. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to hook up my phone because I already know how that kind of stuff would be. But we'll see. It feels weird to be back in a normal type of car because I'm used to my SUV being pros. Everybody got their motorcycles out today too, child. This shit feel hella weird. In my rear view area. Hmm. I don't like the <laughs> you barely see behind. It's weird, but anyway, I got a Chevy Malibu. All white. recorded per usual because when you get a rental car record the vehicle for your own records yeah I'm about to go home see if I got my package Blessing he gave to me, I see everything clear right now. The night's as black as black as it's ever been. Without my girl, I'm losing. I pray that he just sheds his grace on me. I need just to be back with my baby. Feels like I'm holding it for my life away.
So on a random adventure, I found another winery. So let's head in. from the winery and I said I might as well just you know do the unboxing now it didn't come in any fancy packaging which kind of upsets me but anyway at least it came with a ribbon <laughs> so I need y'all to run skip and jump for this okay so get the brand on there Beekman 1802 this was the hotel bar silk that I had 
I think it was the Fresh Air scent, but it seemed like all of the scents had the same type of property. So I figured, hey, I might as well just try the pure and the unscented one. So this is the pure milk. See if that focuses real quick has goats on it because it is a goat milk based soap and it's sulfate free paraben free we all love that all the ingredients you can read which I love so let me take a sniff real quick and mind you I think I may even divide these in half because it takes me forever to get through a bar of soap for some reason and I have no clue why so we have to divide it like because I always do like separate face products from my body yes yeah, definitely definitely scent scentless yeah scentless so this is what it looks like let me actually rip one open for you is what it has on the it's engraved as well like you can tell I don't want to say it's scentless but mind you my nose is like a bloodhound so I my nose is I can smell a lot I can hear a lot my senses are very heightened so I want to say it smells like a milk and honey based bar. There is no honey in it, I don't believe, but the properties in this, when I read on the brand, I said, oh, I gotta have this. So I know I'm going to probably even give one to my mom because like I said, they last forever bars of soap because I only use it on my face, I don't use it on my body. so. We're going to see, mind you, takes me about maybe a month to really see if a product works. So it was only three days, two nights when I had the hotel bar soap. So, and it made immaculate changes in my skin. And I was like, um, what is happening? It was the combination of relaxing the bar of soap, the type of water they got. It was just a whole vibe. And I need to actually kind of move there. So we'll see if that comes to fruition. But yes, get you some Beekman hair care, body care. I don't think they have hair care. I'm tripping. <laughs> body care, face care. You need some. So I'm not sure if the weekend is going to continue slash week. I have no clue. You're going to have to just roll with me because if you see more footage and if you see more time, what that mean? Yes. That means more of me is coming at you. So I'm going to say goodnight now because I said I was maybe kind of debating on doing a cookie session. I'm not. I'ma just do what I need to do. Cook this pot of spaghetti and call it a night. So good night, y'all. So I did a Sunday fun day little situation and I recorded none of it because I went to like several places on a whim. And honestly, I didn't even have time to pull out my camera. So I'm gonna show you what I got though because I needed some retail therapy I'm not even gonna hold you so first all of them are perfumes okay I got two big bottles and then the person graced me with several samples so needless to say if I like any of those samples I'm buying the big bottle for sure because where I'm at the selection of perfumes are very minuscule so here's the first one I'm not sure how it's gonna play out in the fall winter but 
we'll see. It is the Essentials. If anybody has heard of this, let me know. It is in the mood. I guess it's a clean formula type of perfume. It has jasmine petal and warm musk. It is a scent mist and this is the back label. And this is what the bottle looks like as I open it. They have tape here on the side, so no one will be out there is it? Hold please. Hmm. This is actually unique. It gives the um, sprayer separate, but you don't need a lot, but I love the bottle. So this is what it looks like. Let me put it all together. I feel like one of them things it's like <laughs> battery sold separately <laughs> that's what I feel not gonna lie top is a little crooked um it's not giving lux but and then this turns into the cap I think or maybe not I'm gonna use it as a cap, I don't care. <laughs> and then the next one, literally, mind you, again, I'm not a person that, you know, really listens to reviews, essentially. Like, I need to go research it myself. However, JLo's, I don't know if it's a new perfume or not, but the Promise perfume. There's another one that's called One. That one's a little bit, I don't know, it just smells more, I don't want to say pungent, what's the word I'm looking for? One is, it just, to me, it doesn't dry down nicely as this one. Now this is the smaller bottle, apparently, which I didn't know, but that's okay. I'll just get the bigger bottle if I truly like it. So, this is the bottle. It's like a goldy type of hue to it. The one has, it's like a pink frosted bottle, sort of. And it's, I want to say it's a more clear type of hue to it. Um, but yeah, I like the bottle and so forth. So, I'm going to try these two out. But if I don't like it when I try it in colder weather hopefully that will be you know within the week taking it back and I'm getting my money back just is what it is but the samples that I got I don't even think they had them in the store so I'm like how do you have these samples but you don't even have a, a wide selection hey she gave them to me fine it's Michael Germain sexual secrets ooh ah uh. Yeah, they handwritten. I didn't. They're not in their little cubby thing. Whatever. Essentials. Cozy up. And Essentials is the brand with the cardboard type of cylinder packaging. I already have this one. It's Dolce and Gabbana. Have that in the full size bottle already. And I think this is called Fluid uh, Transcend. Boom, bada, bing another fluid or fluid it's called balance uh tawny bahama i can't read her handwriting maritime journey this sound like it's gonna be a complex scent honey and then Dolce and Gabbana intense so that's what I got so stay tuned for the maybe the mini reviews when I try these out 
because I hope some of them give me the vibe of we're going to go get a chai tea and walk in the foliage. Mind you, I do that in real life. So you're probably going to see that <laughs> once it gets, you know, to the point where leaves are turning. I'm definitely doing that. So I just put the samples in here, repurposing, you know, to condense some space. I do like to keep the boxes for a little bit just in case I do want to take it back. So I'll do that. So I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. It was a pretty good unboxing type of episode, if you ask me. There's, you know, first the soaps and then now this. So I have one more package coming in and then I'm gonna have to go to a no buy. If that's possible. Cause I, you know, have been more frugal. This has been my most <laughs> frugal year to date and I don't like it. I don't. I want to do what I want, what I want, pay what I want. Just have experiences. I'm at a point where experiences that cost money, unfortunately, most of them um, need to happen. So, choose to doing that and trying to make the money to do such that you can have a good time. So, with that being said, I'm just going to end the episode here. And until next time, take care.